Despite concerns that this year's United Nations General Assembly would be a mostly virtual event, the hall was as full as current COVID-19 restrictions allow, as Joe Biden appeared in person for his first address to the organisation as President of the United States. And without mentioning his predecessor by name, he made it clear he was working to erase the legacy of Donald Trump. We're back at the table in international forums, especially the United Nations. We are re-engaged at the World Health Organization and working in close partnership with COVAX to deliver life-saving vaccines around the world. We rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement and we're running to retake a seat in the Human Rights Council next year at the UN. Biden made repeated references to the importance of multilateralism, stressing the need for nations to work together for a shared future. But his speech followed a number of events that have tarnished the U.S.'s image on international cooperation, including the chaotic withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan and the recent nuclear submarine deal with Australia in partnership with the U.K. That's led to a diplomatic spat with France. President Biden made no specific response to the criticism, instead highlighting the need to protect human rights in Afghanistan and strengthen support for so-called Quad members in the Indo-Pacific. Hunger is kind of like this festival of bloviation. And, you know, it's very rare that you'll get a, a world leader who will stand on the stage and directly call out, you know, a, another world leader or, or address the proverbial elephant in the room. So I'm not surprised he didn't kind of talk specifically about France. And while Biden distanced himself from Donald Trump's rhetoric, he didn't abandon his focus on China. He also referenced disagreements between the two countries on trade and intellectual property rights, but insisted he doesn't want conflict. We're not seeking, say it again, we are not seeking a new Cold War or a world divided into rigid blocks. The president also called for a global plan to address COVID-19 vaccine inequality, promised to double U.S. funding of climate projects in developing countries, pledged $10 billion to address hunger, and renewed the U.S. commitment to reviving the Iran nuclear agreement. And analysts say there were no real surprises. He said everything that everybody wanted to hear, and maybe that was part of the problem. It came across as a rather pedestrian, necessary, but slightly boring speech. After four years of Donald Trump, Joe Biden's speech was something of a palate cleanser for the UN General Assembly. But when it comes to the key relationship with China, it was clear that strong areas of contention remain. Sarah Walton, CGTN, New York.